Linda Carter is a television actress who made a name for herself playing Wonder Woman on the 1970s TV series Wonder Woman. Based on the comic book character of the same name, the series was an instant hit, thanks to both the iconic character and the actress playing her. Since portraying Wonder Woman, Linda has continued working on television sporadically. She's also ventured into singing and has made some appearances in film, including a role in the recent Wonder Woman 1984. Linda is still a stunning beauty, though nothing compares to looking at her old photos. Join Facts Verse as we take a look at rare photos of Linda Carter that are not suitable for all ages and also will explore her life. Linda Carter was born in Phoenix, Arizona on July 24, 1951. She was the youngest of three, though she ended up towering over her older siblings at a young age. She went on to become 5'11", making her the perfect choice to bring the Amazonian character to life years later. As a child, Linda's parents enrolled her in dance and drama classes, and she continued studying the arts into her teen years. By the time she was ready to go to college, she'd trained in drama and dance for years, but she still felt receiving a formal education at Arizona State University might be worth a try. Not too long into her tenure there, she changed her mind and decided that continuing her formal education wasn't the best option. In high school, she had begun performing with a band called Just Us. While attending ASU, that band was given the opportunity to tour America. Feeling that touring could provide her with more opportunities than continuing her college education, Linda dropped out. Her days touring America with her high school band came to an end in 1972, and she subsequently had to come up with something else to fill her time, given that the tour had not proved successful enough. Still not wanting to go back to college, Linda decided to pursue a career in modeling with the help of her immense good looks and statuesque demeanor. Linda found quite a bit of success modeling and went on to win some notable local beauty pageants before eventually being crowned Miss USA in 1973. By this point, it was hard to deny that Linda had a very promising future. Upon being crowned Miss USA, she started getting attention from producers in Hollywood. Some of her earliest acting roles were in TV series like Starsky and Hutch and Cause. It was through these successful turns that Linda was given the opportunity to play Wonder Woman, which came on the air in 76. Prior to the start of the series, the character debuted in a 1975 special that served as the public's introduction to Linda in the role. Wonder Woman became a massive success for ABC, and it also turned Linda into a household name. There had initially been some fear that audiences wouldn't relate to a female superhero, but this fear thankfully turned out untrue. The series was a massive success, and the public adored Linda's performance. Even still, it's hard for many fans of the character to look at any other actress in the role and not compare her unfavorably to Linda Carter. Although many fans have received recent Wonder Woman Gal Gadot warmly, many others feel she doesn't have the same statuesque demeanor as Linda Carter. Gal has actually received Linda's blessing. Linda made an appearance in Wonder Woman 1984 as a character called Asteria, and she's set to reprise her role as the character in the film's upcoming sequel. Hey, if you're enjoying this video so far, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to Facts First for more. And stick around for more about Linda Carter. Although the CBS network had initially felt they were taking a gamble on the 1970s television series Wonder Woman due to the fact that its hero was female, the show was a success. Linda Carter, the character she played, and the show itself all became sensations throughout the latter half of the decade, with the show airing for three seasons before finally coming to a close in 1979. Though one might have expected the show to last for a few more years, given how successful it was, the intensive and expensive nature of the show's production meant producing more seasons after the third wasn't the most profitable prospect, especially given that Linda's fame throughout the show's run meant her price tag was growing exponentially. After Wonder Woman ended in 1979, Linda continued working in the industry and is still working today. In addition to continuing to act, Linda has also maintained her skills as a singer. She's even made successful attempts at stepping into the recording industry in recent years. Some of the many TV series she's appeared on include Two and a Half Men, Smallville, and Law and Order. Meanwhile, she could be seen in the 2005 film adaptation of The Dukes of Hazard, and achieved some acclaim for her role in a West End London production of the play Chicago. Besides acting and singing, Linda Carter also has continued modeling throughout her career. During the 80s, she was the go-to model for the Maybelline Cosmetics Company based out of New York. 
Throughout the 90s, she could be seen performing similar duties for the direct mail order contact lens company Lens Express. At age 70, Linda still looks great, though it's hard to deny the power of looking at pictures of her in her prime. Though Linda hasn't played Wonder Woman for many years, she continues to portray the character or ones related to her in various ways. In 2016, Linda got a prominent guest starring role on the CW television series Supergirl. Linda played President Olivia Marsden, and DC Comics fans were ecstatic to see the actress step back into that universe. A year after that, Wonder Woman was released in theaters, the first official media featuring the character in live-action form since the 70s. Fans were anxious to see how the actress chosen to perform Wonder Woman would compare to Linda Carter. While she didn't appear in 2017's Wonder Woman to make any kind of cameo, she did give her blessing to both the film and Gal's performance. Patty Jenkins directed the film, and she expressed interest in finding a role for Linda in the sequel. Patty made good on this promise, as Wonder Woman 1984 featured Linda in a fairly prominent role. She appeared as the character Asteria, and it seems she'll be returning for its sequel. While Linda has seen immense success over the course of her career, she's had periods in her personal life where she struggled with alcoholism. According to Linda, she suffered most heavily from the disease during the 1990s, though she ended up being able to kick the habit after checking into rehab. She says she's been sober ever since, and she looks great for being 70. In 1977, while performing Wonder Woman, Linda Carter tied the knot with her talent agent. This was a man named Ron Samuels. But unfortunately, the marriage didn't last long. They were divorced by 1982, at which point Linda was single for two years before marrying her second husband, Robert Altman, though not that Robert Altman. Linda's Robert Altman was a lawyer, not a Hollywood director, and the two remained married until his recent passing in 2021. Now it's time to hear from you. Did you know Linda was on Starsky and Hutch before she became Wonder Woman? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Facts First if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.